wrap up um, just by reminding you of, of the, the complexity of these birds that are in your back gardens. These are some of the most intelligent animals on Earth, and their social lives in many ways mirror our own. You have these, these pair bonds, as Becky's told you, these couples that last for the whole of their lives, often. These couples are trying to raise kids, but while they're trying to do this, all around them there are other families of jackdaws trying to raise their own kids, or other individuals, some of whom might not have a partner yet. And as well as all that, in the winter months, you've also got hundreds of other birds who may have to come together in some kind of a democratic consensus, as we've just been hearing from Alex as well. And not only are these all jackdaws, but of course you've also got the odd rook dotted in here as well. So these are phenomenally complex societies, and within all of this complex social interaction, they're also having to make all sorts of decisions to do with real estate, to do with avoiding predators and other dangers, and to do with taking advantage of different opportunities. And so hopefully by studying these birds, we can begin to understand how their minds have evolved to deal with all of these sorts of problems, and more broadly, how to understand why intelligence evolves in nature, including in ourselves at all. So recently, um, the media have been getting more interested in this, and some of you might have seen our very own Gil McIver on Spring Watch last spring. We're currently talking to, to Winter Watch and the One Show about potentially doing some other shows um, in the near future, so watch out for those. But I'll just end by saying thank you to all of you for bearing with us, for coming out on such a horrible night. And if you have any questions, we'd be delighted to answer them. Thank you very much.